Uh, J.C. Treder, president of the NFLPA, caused a little bit of a stir when um, he suggested players not go to the OTAs. People felt that the Browns were at a competitive disadvantage because a lot of other teams had almost 100 uh, percent participation and the Browns really didn't. Well, Treder said the offensive linemen did get together, did work out, and that OTAs really aren't that beneficial for offensive linemen in his way of thinking. Yeah, I think uh, we worked out together. A lot of it was just lifting and some drills. It was kind of normally what we would do during the offseason anyways. Um, and then uh, I was out in you know, San Diego for the last two weeks. Antonio um, was out there out there with me. Uh, that's usually where I spend my off seasons as is. So I, I went out there just to work out and um, get to the get to the beach a little bit. Um, but uh, a lot of it's just, um, you know, for for my personal decision on on the matter, it was really I, I know if if I go to OTAs at this point, there's really only two things that can happen. One, I'm going to have more wear and tear on my joints. Um, that's not great for me. And two, I have an increased likelihood for a season-ending injury uh, by practicing right now. So both those things aren't good for me and I, I would say not good for the team um, with, with either of those. I've, I've been somebody who have never felt that OTAs have been helpful for me at any part of my career, um, taking away the, the injury I had during it. But uh, I feel when you're in shorts and a t-shirt, I think your fundamentals slip more than you develop your fundamentals in offensive linemen uh, because you can't really put your shoulder in anybody or you're going to get clipped by a face mask. So you play high, the defense is able to grab your jersey and pull you. Uh, you have nothing to grab onto because they don't have shoulder pads. So I think it's not a, a realistic game-like scenario. Uh, and I've always felt worse leaving the off-season program, both physically and with my fundamentals, than entering the off-season program. And uh, Mac, that's very interesting. I, you know, just hearing it from an offensive lineman's perspective, I, I get what he's saying. Yeah, and, and it does make sense for for a veteran like Treader, who's been in the league, he's been around the he's been around the block pretty much. So it makes sense for him where he's coming from, and especially too, you know, he mentioned the fact that you know it's important for him not to get that season-ending injury and not to you know get the wear and tear on the joints. I think it's less important for him to be there and. Maybe more important for, you know, the guys like Nick Harris, who was the uh, backup center last year, and even James Hudson, the fourth-round pick that the Browns took this year. You know, getting that coaching from a Bill Callahan and, you know, getting that development from the offensive lineman, I think it's more beneficial for the younger players as they can go ahead, get used to, you know, working out, obviously getting in the day-to-day -day routines. Um, but I do think that, you know, it might be more beneficial for them. But for the veterans, you know, I I'm okay with, you know, some of those guys not necessarily being there because we've seen in the past major injuries and catastrophic injuries, you know, derail a lot of uh, or bring up a lot of issues for a lot of teams uh, heading into the season.